Hello everyone, today we will be talking about the possible return of the Quebec Nordiques in today's video. Now before we start, please make sure to like this video if you enjoy it, and then join the Hockey Brigade by subscribing, I appreciate it so much. Now let's go to it. So, there's not a crazy amount of information to talk about so far, but here's what we do know. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman is supposed to be meeting with Quebec's Premier to talk about a possible return of the former franchise. Interestingly, Quebec's premier recently said, quote, You have to know who is ready to invest. We have an arena already built in Quebec City, and we are in contact with Commissioner Gary Bettman to find out what we need to bring back what we need to bring back the Nordiques. End quote. The building he is referring to is Quebec City's Videotron Center, and that opened in 2015, so you gotta think fairly new, it's only six years old, and that's a pretty young building that is good, and it is also the 19th biggest building for hockey in the hockey world according to wikipedia as it can hold 18,259 fans and is currently used by a QMJHL team in quebec so that is a big plus right there since it's already being used for hockey so they know how to make things work and then the way the premier talks it sounds like they're dead set on bringing this team back now quebec city has already been a hotspot, as we all know, if we are involved in hockey, if you're new to hockey. Quebec City is a name that you might be able to hear a little bit here and there, as they haven't had an NHL team since 1995 when they moved to Colorado. And it has been the talk of the hockey world for a while. Them, Hamilton, Saskatoon, um, Regina, plenty of places have been thrown out there for a future NHL team. Now, my question then becomes, are we talking about expansion? Are we talking about relocation? in order to get the Nordiques back. Could a team like Arizona move there? Maybe, you know, they have struggled with attendance issues over the years. We've talked about before, it's not necessarily their fault because of where they're located, the arena, all that good stuff. But Quebec City is a hockey-crazed market, and we do know that. And maybe could we be looking at an expansion? Maybe even 36 teams. Who knows? Gary Bettman's always got his own stuff going on in his brain. And to add on to the discussion, it is not a surprise in itself that we are here again with Quebec City because while their population isn't massive, it has grown over the years and continues to grow, so I have to keep an eye out on that. Now, finally, my last thing I want to talk about, does the city already have a potential owner interested or is the province of Quebec looking to take on the financial aspect for the short term, maybe even for the long term? Now, that is a lot to talk about, and it's got you wondering, hey, have they already talked to somebody, or are they saying, we'll just take it on? That's certainly a lot of questions that will be asked, and there will be some answers in the coming months, hopefully, so we can uh, just figure out what's going on in that regards. And also, though, interestingly enough, there are rumors that the NHL won't be having meetings with the Premier, so there's a lot going on we don't know about. Um, from an article I read, it looks like elections will be in 11 months in Quebec. Maybe they're trying to grease the wheels Get people to vote for them because, hey, you want your Nordiques back? I'm your guy. It'll be weird. We'll have to see how it goes. Do you think the Nordiques are coming back? Let me know down below. And do you even want them to come back? I know some people like Habs fans probably like the fact that they have full reign of Quebec and they don't have another team in their province. So maybe Habs fans wouldn't want it burned. So also, one last thing I wanted to say for those of you that are interested I have talked about getting a dog here recently, and it looks like we will be picking them up tomorrow, which means, unfortunately, for tomorrow, there probably won't be a video just because we want to get him brought in here and acclimated at least for a day because he has lived in a shelter the past four years, unless maybe we do a little video with us getting him, something like that. But yeah, there probably won't be a video tomorrow just because we want him to get used to it and have a day where it's kind of him just getting a feel for what this place is like. And then again, also I apologize, I haven't brought this up, but one of our light bulbs broke for one of the things we use to have the lighting in here. So the lighting looks a little different, that is why. Now, if you like this video, then like this video and don't forget to subscribe to join the channel. Everybody stay safe, have a great night, you love Hulk, all right. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.